Okay, now we're back after being so rudely interrupted by technical difficulties last time. And we were on the acoustics. We have checked out the main acoustics, so let's jump to the lead. Just a bit of high passing. And I'm compressing them using Summit Audio. PLA 100 from Softube. And now classic for this mix, Presence Boost using CQ. And then the top end de sync trick. So if we remove the plugins, the fab filter pro multiband just softens the transient a little bit so that's the acoustic guitars in the main mix then let's move on to the electrics so first we have the rhythm guitars they are panned hard left and right for most of the part except in the verses when i bring them in a little bit oh. On these, there's just a little bit of presence boost, and then I'm compressing them using UAD's LA3A. They are completed, right? No effects on them. I have that on other guitars instead. Then we can move to the lead horn. One of guitars here. On these, most of the tone shaping is done by the 1176. So just some high and low passing and taking down the low mids a little bit to avoid get muddying up the mix. The UAD adds some saturation and it keeps it pre present and nice. Slow attack, fast release. Then an echo boy here. Adding some echo. Then it's sent to my reverb and echo channels. So there's a lot of. And after those, we're going to have the lead guitars. I'm mostly just controlling the 2K here and high and low passing, whatever I didn't need. Then I have different compressors on all, on all of the guitars parts, just to keep uh, the dynamics of them separate from each other, so they react slightly different. And Saturn here is saturating the to high end a little bit. Adds a bit of some nice uh, satin texture up there. 
this this compressor is side chained to the background vocals, so when they come in, this guitar ducks a slight bit. Just to allow them to shine through in the mix. And then we come to the solo guitar. We'll turn everything off. So that is a bit of uh, echo and other things in the sound. The Q3. Just add a bit of presence for it to cut through and uh, controlling around 2K again, high low pausing. No huge moves there. Then I got a spring reverb from Softube. Just softening it up a little bit. And then I get a UAD 1176. And this one does quite a bit. It just pegs the solo in level. Then we have CQ doing a bit of a presence boost again. Or quite a lot of it. We got a bit of heavy filter Saturn again. Yeah, crushing the high end as usual. On this, it's really subtle. Then I got a well. We're gonna wait with Sooth. Uh, then I got a Valhalla room. Just to make it feel a little bigger and stereo. And put it and also put it into a room. Then it gets sent to an H, Waves H delay feeding into a Valhalla Vintage Verb. And on the other one I have a tape delay simulation with a very long delay. Makes it all cavernous and really, really nice. Problem is though, it's a bit too big for the mix at this stage. And if I bring it down to a volume where it doesn't dominate, everything it starts to disappear as well because it's clashing with everything else so soothe to the rescue i'm using soothe to dig out a bit around 2k and leave everything else nice in, in more in place and then this happened
And now the solo could be there, present and nice, and didn't cover anything. Some sort of magic going on there.